Uh, it's a little VR for Pops Quest. Um, I'm a newer subscriber. I was subscribed a few days ago. I know I'm, I'm fucking behind the game, but uh, just got through reviewing uh, Clown Shoes, Barista. Yeah. Yeah. Save your money. It's alright, but yeah. Anyway, he made a video uh, titled, Do You Carry Out a Fear? Um, now, it seems like I've carried, I've been carrying a lot longer than some people typically have, I guess. Uh, I've had my CCW for eight and a half years. Um, let's see how long. Since I was about 27, I guess. 28, something around there when I, yeah, 27. When I first got mine, um, pre-Obama, pre-bullshit, fake mass shootings, and all the crazy people going around killing everybody. Um, when I got mine, I really didn't have any particular reason. I moved from Oklahoma City to Shawnee, where I live now. Um, all I owned was a shotgun. Uh, it was a Mossberg. It's like a Maverick 88, and I had an 18 and a half inch barrel on it, and ATI top folding stock, and all that other tactical bullshit. <clears throat> and uh, when I moved up here, within the first within the first month or two, I ended up buying a Springfield XD 45 tactical, which, which is the long barrel, which is like one of the bigger 45 that they had to, that they had available at that time. Um, and I thought, you know what? I see people talking about concealed carry, and, and it's like $180 for the class and background check and licensing and all that shit. Fuck, may as well do it. You know, the way I could carry. And then uh, I really wasn't into guns. I mean, I, I shot them pretty shitty, actually. Uh, I mean, 20 foot, my spread would be like 12 inches and it was pretty bad. And uh, so honestly, I really wasn't into this whole tactical shit, really wasn't into working on guns, really wasn't into you know, watching reviews on YouTube, none of this. And I was a I was an occasional carrier, you know, not like I am now. I mean, now I go outside, I, I make sure I slap at least my Glock uh, 43 on, uh, which is, you'll be seeing a video on that, it's newly acquired, got some new shit on it. I'll post some pictures around here, uh, Hype Technologies. Uh, Extended base plates and slide cover and shit like that. You got the air conditioner on now. Lovely. But I didn't carry, you know, nearly as much as I do now. Uh, I mean, if I do something here in town, I wouldn't bother strapping the gun on. Only if I go to Oklahoma City or anywhere out of town. I really didn't. I didn't have the mentality of uh, being aware that you know shit could possibly go down anywhere. So. Uh, I mean, that's the way I roll now. Uh, shit could happen anywhere. Like, you know, next door. I was open carrying a Glock 19, a motherfucker. Uh, neighbor used to live there. Uh, got mad at me because I called the dog pound because he had four dogs. And, uh, which was uh, too over the limit because I think two or three of them weren't, weren't neutered or spayed. And uh, so he told my son that was outside playing that me, I was a bunch. I was a, I was a bitch for calling a fucking dog pound on him and shit. And I was actually walking out the door. My son told me we we're about to walk down to the park, and uh, he's running his mouth on his cell phone for I don't know who the fuck he's talking to. And walking right by him, carrying him on the right side, and he's right over here, and uh, he's saying I was a bitch. And then, uh, I questioned him about it. And, he had word back and forth about me calling the dog pound. And I get two houses down, making making a ride around the corner, and he tells me, uh, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Um, of course, I come back around on my phone, already already got 911 dialed. And uh, I'm not trying to start no shit with him. I'm just telling him he, he needs to watch his fucking mouth if he's gonna be talking about threatening to kill people. That's a, that's a you know pretty big offense. Went inside, got all that handled, the police showed up. Anyway, I don't carry out of fear. I carry um, because I'd like to see myself, my family, uh, my surrounding friends live to be see tomorrow. Uh, if I have a chance to stop someone doing a mass shooting, someone trying to, like we've had people in Oklahoma City, 
there's been uh, one guy that was a Muslim and had a jihad, decapitated a woman at his at his job, and uh, he got killed by the uh, the manager, the plant manager, some shit. Uh, they had a rifle in his in his office, shot him and killed him. Uh, there was a guy at Walmart that had a girl at uh, knife point. Uh, cop walked up to him and tossed his negotiator, trying to you know talk to him, got closer to him, and, and popped him in the head and killed him. Um, you know, if I, if I have an open opportunity, an open window to intervene, I will do so. If uh, it's not my place, uh, if I if I don't see it uh, being possibly safe, I won't do so. Um, I'm not going to put myself and my family in, in, in harm's way. Uh-oh. My alarm going off for radio show. <clears throat> I'm not going to go out of my way to, to put myself or my family in harm's way. So I don't carry out of fear. I carry um, for the, the, the reason to live to see tomorrow. Uh, my family live to see tomorrow. Uh, you know, if I'm at a store and it's it's getting robbed by someone at knife point. Uh, I may do something if it if it comes my way, but if not, you know, if nobody gets hurt, you know, it, you know, $200 and change ain't worth uh, someone dying. Uh, they can live their days in prison, whatever else. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. I'm not going to bitch out and say, oh yeah, I'm going to fucking pop three rounds in them and do the whole tactical look maneuvers. That's just not me. Um, I don't honestly give a fuck about two hundred dollars and possibly seeing uh, inside of a courtroom. It's not worth it. Uh, some of you might think it is. You know that, that's on you. I'm not gonna say no negative shit about you. Anyway, uh, we'll be seeing you. Y'all have a great day.